they all live there on the farm. And minutes from there, taking his kids to school, or not actually not, not to school, but to cheerleading practice or whatever at the school, and some fucking woman, girl, whatever, um, it, 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 this was not, they weren't on the interstate. I don't, people can't picture Laurel County and Sandy Fork and, you know, Delaware. It's rural. It was a two lane road, probably with, they may have been the only traffic. Who the fuck knows? And the woman just for some unknown reason crosses over from her lane, cross the middle lane, hits him head on. Boom. And she's dead, so we won't get a, explanation from her ass over this i'm i hope maybe they found a cell phone laying around because if, if they do a alcohol content test and that comes up negative you know nobody can fucking exist without texting on the phone in the car anymore but nevertheless so both of his daughters are still in the hospital and i mean it's not like people are, uh, you can't just be constantly hounding this family. Well, how, how are the daughters? So the last I heard was what they had posted. It was a day ago that uh, one was in surgery, you know, a back surgery, which doesn't sound good. And the other one was stable, but still in, you know, critical condition or whatever. But just taking them to cheerleading. And I got a um, I got an email. Uh, I got a number of emails, not only personal but also to my website. But this from I don't know this guy named Scott, but he's from he's a listener and he's from uh, Laurel County or Sussex County, Laurel, Delaware. I said Laurel County a few minutes ago. Whatever the case, Scott from up there in Sussex County. He wrote, I can truly say that our little community, shit, our little community has never been so heartbroken than to hear the news of Jay's passing. Schools and businesses are closed. They closed the school district for the day in honor of, of them because of what Jay and his family meant up there. But Schools and businesses are closed. Social media is exclusively an outpouring of love for Jamin Pugh and his family. Jay was a frequent sighting out and around Sussex County, Delaware. I've never met a more friendly and down-to-earth human being in my entire life. It didn't matter who you were, what color your skin was, or your sexual preference. Jay was a friendly face to all. I was proud to call him friend. <clears throat> and look to him as an example of what a father should be. I can only hope to be half the father that Jay was to his children. He was an A-plus father up until the very end, as he was killed taking his little girls to cheerleading practice. Our community will never be the same after this horrible tragedy, but he will never be forgotten around these parts. Jay Briscoe was a legend, and his memory will live on forever. This guy meant so much to the people up there that knew him, not even because he was a wrestler. They they knew him. It's a small town, a small area up there. We used to make, you know, jokes about Sandy Fork, Delaware on Ring of Honor television and the, you know, the number one sons of Sandy Fork. But it's true. It's Delaware sounds like it's in the Northeast and et cetera. And there are obviously big city elements, Wilmington. But this is as rural as you can get. And Jay, he was, I didn't even realize to the extent he was involved till I read some of the articles. And God, you know, Mike Johnson, again, on PWInsider.com, did a great piece that you need to look up. But Jay was coaching uh, to his kids, his son, who wasn't in the accident, thank goodness, uh, but was coaching his kids' sports teams and helped out at the school there. 
And not only that, but it wasn't a rib. You know, when we talked all those times on Ring of Honor television, going back to when I was there 10, 12 years, 13, 14 years ago, whatever it was, um, of the Briscoe family, you know, they had that RV, that giant RV that they would drive to the Manhattan Center for the big matches in New York because their mother and their father and the, the sister, their cousins, kids, they always had their family around them. And they tr they would turn down plane tickets to be able to, you know, drive and bring the family. that had, uh, Papa Briscoe, their dad, I love that fucking guy, had supported them from the time he helped teach them how to themselves you know, how to wrestle at first in the backyard before they ever got any training. And that's it's something that we, we knock self-trained wrestlers because of the wide variety of self-trained wrestlers that you can tell. And the ones that don't ever seek any training after that or don't take criticism or don't take advice or whatever the case. These guys were self-trained, but they fit none of that other category. They were Bobby Eaton's. Because they were, they saw it and they loved it and they could naturally do the movements. And it is somehow they were also able to translate it into figuring out how to fucking work once that they got around people who could and they osmosis that too. But it's past being wrestlers. We'll get to that shortly. Just the... I can't imagine what's going on with the family because of how, if you, you know, found anybody in the wrestling business that was more in love with and loved and wrapped up in their family, it would be the Briscoe. It couldn't, there couldn't be anybody more. So, and you've seen, I don't know when, I mean, it looked like a head of state would have passed away on Twitter from everybody currently in the wrestling business or that's ever been in a locker room with them or, or, or involved with anything to do with Jay's career. I mean, you can tell when people are just, oh, we're sorry something happened. No, this is, everybody is torn up. And that's, you know, that's hard to find, and it's more than like some legend from goddamn Attitude Era was gone. It's, it's it, you know, even though Jay was was not on national television, everybody that interacted with the fans of, that have seen the Briscoes are broken up, and the people who've worked with them, and everybody that's interacted with them. And so... Uh, I don't really know which direction to go with this from here, except that it's just, it's when something like that happens through, through no fault of anybody's doing a completely routine, wonderful thing that they are dedicated to doing for their children. You know, <sighs> help me figure out a direction here.